Ben, that's exactly right. Some workers are going to have that option to do that weekly testing, but it's not going to be for all of them, with some of them just having a mandate altogether unless they have some of the exemptions. Now, this is all taking effect on September 27th, just a little over a month from now. I want Connecticut to take the lead in terms of employees getting vaccinated. Mandatory COVID-19 vaccines for state employees in Connecticut. Governor Ned Lamont making the announcement during his first COVID-19 briefing since May. Under the policy, state employees that work at hospital facilities will be mandated to get the vaccine without the option for weekly testing. Employees outside of hospital settings, teachers and staff K-12, through and early childhood workers can either get vaccinated or face regular testing. I think it keeps us so much safer. And let's face it, we tried a lot of incentives. The vaccination rate was uh, not going up the way it should. And I want to keep our state employees safe. I want to keep our teachers safe. And I thought, now's the time to do it. The Connecticut Education Association says it appreciates the effort to keep everyone safe as the school year gets closer and closer. Well, I think it adds a layer of safety for not just the staff, but for also the children that are coming into the buildings. Not all children are eligible to be vaccinated, and we do know there is some breakthrough with the, the vaccines with the Delta variant. CBAC, the State Employees Bargaining Agent Coalition, made up of more than a dozen unions, responded to the mandate in a statement that reads in part, CBAC is a strong advocate of doing all we can to protect the safety of members and the public in these unprecedented times. We recognize that under state and federal law, the employer has the right to create such mandates. There are some exemptions to the mandate. A uh, sincerely held religious belief or a medical exemption that's documented by a health care provider. And, and those are well-established parameters that many other states are using uh, for their vaccine mandates. But those employees who refuse the vaccine and the testing altogether uh, will not be permitted uh, in, the in the state facility. Um, from there, the discipline will be determined through the employee contracts and the details of that will be worked out through the collective bargaining process with our state employee unions. Now, this mandate does also cover all employees under the executive branch, and the governor's office says that the chief justice is looking to do something similar for the judicial branch. The legislative branch, they are still discussing it. Live in Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.